Mark, two more signings. Let's deal with them in the order in which they're happening. Uh, Liam Shepherd, obviously, um, comes from a higher level to Forest Green. Yeah, it's a really good signing for us. We've had to be really patient. Um, it's no secret we've been after a quality right back. Um, obviously, Dale Bennett, after a lot of good years' service, left as left us, and we we needed to fill that void with a real quality player. And um, we had to be we had to be really patient with Liam because he was a regular in Peterborough's team last year. Um, we tried to get him last season in January, N nearly got there, um, but we've managed to, through our patience and, and hard work, we've managed to get him and we're really pleased, we think he's a brilliant signing for us. And you mentioned having gone for him in January, does it actually help when you're going back for a player that they know that actually you are genuinely interested in them, that you know, you've been in for them before? Yeah, I think so, I think he knew how much we, we valued him. Um, I've seen him develop over the last few years. You know, we've been at Swansea. You know, he went to Yeovil, got a move to to Peterborough, and um, and we think he's a really good, really good footballer. He gets up and down the line. Um, he can defend. He gets forward brilliantly, and he's got real good quality in the final third of the pitch. So it gives us, you know, with with Mills and and obviously Scott Laird, it gives us that chance to attack from the fullback areas. And 23 is in an age where he's got a bit of experience now. How much does that help? Yeah, I think I think what we tried to do with, with quite a few of our signings, they've been quite young in terms of age, but have got experience in terms of, of their games played. So we're trying to put together a, a squad of energetic, young uh, footballers that have got real quality and got some games under their belt. And the fact that he started at Swansea, the way they've played football over the years, that presumably says that you know he's very, very comfortable on the ball. Yeah, I think our fans will enjoy watching him play. They, he's got all the attributes um, that you would associate with a modern day fullback in terms of getting up and down that touchline and, and being able to produce quality in the final third of the pitch, which is something that we've, we've been crying out for. You're also announcing Isaac Pearce has joined as well. He's someone that obviously you've had a, a good look at because yeah. he was here on trial last season. Yeah, he, he was at Fulham, um, uh, left Fulham you know, last season and... Uh, he, he he asked if he could come and train with us. He's a he's a Bristol boy. Um, came of his own accord and trained with us for a month, and he he impressed everyone here. He's um, he's he's a small lad. But he's got brilliant ability. You know, he's uh, so he's one that that supplements our squad, um, and and just one that we're given an opportunity to. But we think that could help us in the long run. But he's got great ability. And so I mean, from that point of view. Obviously, there's a little bit of an element of taking a punt to it, but how do you make sure that actually it's not that big a gamble? It's not. Obviously, we we, we make sure the contract's right. But what Isaac wanted to do is just get an opportunity. He, he's local. It wasn't about money for him, but he, he came in and showed us for a month uh, what he was all about. And um, he's a real tricky winger, or f number 10, or forward. He's got loads of ability and real exciting player. And that versatility, how much does that help? Yeah, the way we want to play in with those front areas, whether wide or central, that's where you, you win your games is, is with your attacking players and scoring goals. He didn't have a great time on loan at Bath City. How much is this sort of an opportunity now for him to really bounce back and, and sort of you know, stake his claim? Yeah, of course. That's what it's about earning that opportunity and then seizing, seizing that moment and taking your opportunity and many career has been forged by, you know, taking opportunities and showing what you can do. Eight new signings plus Tab Campbell who was here last season at the back end of it anyway. How happy are you with the business that you've done so far? How much more is there still left to do? We're delighted with it, with our, with our recruitment process. We've, um, we, we've taken our time and we've, we've tried to be really selective. We've tried to, um, to look at certain ages of in certain positions. Um, we, we're going to have a smaller squad, but we're trying to fill it with players that we feel are, are ready to go and for us to be competitive. And we're still, people will be saying, and rightly so, we're short in midfield. We're short in the middle of the pitch. And that's, we were short at right back. Um, we need to get that one done. 
we've got it done. And now we, we're hopefully we're close on a midfield, you know, an aggressive ball-winning midfield player. You also see Manny Monte go to Tranmere, so one off the wage bill. I mean, presumably that just sort of frees up a little bit more manoeuvrability for you as well. That's right. We're working to a, a budget. It's important that we we stick to that budget, and you know, by us getting players out that we don't think are going to play a lot for us it enables us it enables us to to, to go and sign the players we want